All right, on this video, on this video, I want to show you how to set up your Nintendo Switch. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Relax. How to set up your Oculus Touch with a couple of cameras. You do need a couple of cameras in order for Oculus Touch to work. And this is one negative that I do have to look the reason I made this channel is to be honest. When I buy these products, when I have these products, I try to be fair. And I'm being fair by telling you that one negative that I have about uh, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive and PlayStation VR is this ridiculous amount of cables. Ridiculous amount of cables that you need just to set up a goddamn thing. I have used up pretty much all of my USB goddamn ports just to run this Oculus Rift. Thankfully, I have USB expansion ports. I still have four left, so I can plug in my hard drives and whatnot. But, man, it's ridiculous. This thing will eat up all of your USB ports, man. So, I just want to warn you, when you buy Oculus Rift, remember... It's going to be a painful process till you set it up. Uh, you're going to need a bunch of space. Here, let me just show you how ridiculous it looks. Here, let me just show you really quick. Hold on. Before we start the setup. Look at all these damn wires. Look at this. I had to get a couple of external USB ports just to plug this whole freaking thing. It's ridiculous. And look right here. There's even more. The amount of cables, man, it's like a, it's like a jungle war over here, man. All right, so let's continue with this uh, setup. Okay, what you have to do first, you have to come here. You have to click on the Oculus software. You have to have the Oculus software in order for the Oculus Rift to work, okay? You have to plug in everything in, including your Oculus Rift. Uh, you have to have two cameras connected. They're right here. This is your main camera, and then this is your second camera sensor for your Oculus. This one is for your uh, headset, and this one is for your touch, your touch controllers. Sorry about that. Which they are right here. They're right here, okay? So, these are my touch controllers. So, let's go ahead and let's... Uh, continue next let's set this up click next all right so you see right here it tells you that everything gets set up uh headset hdmi okay okay uh hold on a second let me show you i don't know if you guys can see it or not here let me show you really quick see where it says uh right there headset okay USB, okay, sensors, okay, sensor USB 2.0, okay, so everything's hooked up. So once you got everything hooked up, then you continue to the next step. You click, you click next right there. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to click on the mouse next. Okay, just kidding. Okay, so the next step is, the next step is your touch. You see, I already got my Oculus remote. Now I got my touch. So you, what you want to do is you want to calibrate your touch. So you click touch. It's already selected for you. All you have to do is click next. All right. Set up your touch controllers. Slide down and insert the AA batteries. I have already done that. By the way, this is how you put the batteries. This is a little magnetic pull right here. All you have to do is just pull it here like this. You pull it. So you pull it out like that. Comes out. And then your batteries are right there. You want to put them back in. You put it back in like this. There's a little magnetic pull to it. Hold on. You place it in like this. Place it in like that. Goes right in. And it's wall It's right in. It's locked right in. All right. So the next thing you want to do is click next. Obviously, you should have your batteries inside before you even start this whole process. And you will need batteries, I believe it's a double A's, I think it's a double A's, not triple A's, double A batteries, there's two pairs that comes in, you have to put one on each of these, 
there they are so the next thing is pair your left touch so what you want to do you want to press this right here this button right here hold on let me adjust my brightness so you guys can see so what you want to do is you want to click the uh the menu button right here on the left one and then hold on hold on a sec you want to click the uh, menu button and then Y and hold it for two seconds and it's now it's looking for see he found it finalizing controller I don't know if you guys can see it it's pairing and updating controller there it is okay so we're done with the left one this is the left now we're gonna go to the right okay this is the right one and we're probably gonna have to do the same thing on this right uh, touch controller so we're gonna go ahead click next so we're gonna do the same thing here the only difference is there's a different set of buttons so we'll have to press the uh, the oculus button and then B hold it and wait for it to uh, depicted you can see a little light blinking right here I don't know if you guys can see see finalizing controller so everything is calibrated everything is done just remember this is your right and uh, this is your left okay this is your left right here and then this is your right right here so there's there you have it all right so once you're done with that you click next and you're pretty much all set here i mean honestly after that you're pretty much all set this is just letting you know like uh what these buttons do and everything you can read that go back to it and you know hold on sensor usb now it's uh communicating test hold on it's commuting communicating test but it says my USB 3.0 has a poor tracking quality. I don't know why. Let's let's retry. I don't know why. We'll find out. Find out. I mean that's okay. I I don't mind. It doesn't have to be super. Let's click next. Now let's set up your Oculus sensor. Now you click next. Uh, three feet, fine. Clear your space. Three feet from that. And you click next. See, it's set up exactly the way I set it up. Click next. To get started, follow the steps on the left. Squeeze and hold the trigger. there left and right hold on a sec okay well nothing is blocking the sensors so here they are So anyway, guys, I'm running out of time, but you get the idea. This is pretty much how you do it. This is how you set it up. I just wanted to show you this quick process. Uh, it takes a little time to calibrate all of this, but once you get everything calibrated in your room, then you're good to go. So there you have it. Hopefully, uh, this video is helpful. It shows you how to set it up. There you go. Thanks for watching.